Hi everyone, this is Kavana Lava. Welcome to our channel. Our channel mainly focus on the foreign medical graduates who are preparing for their exams and all the best for your upcoming exams. Today, let's start with our cell physiology. In cell physiology, we are mainly going to focus on the four important topics. First one, functions of cell organelles differentiate between apoptosis and necrosis third one cell adaptation and fourth one transport through cell membrane these are the four topics we are going to focus on cell physiology. So first let us start with functions of cell organelles. As we know there are many cell organelles inside the cell. First one rough endoplasmic reticulum. So what is the function of rough endoplasmic reticulum? It is synthesis of proteins. Second one smooth endoplasmic reticulum it is what is the function of smooth endoplasmic reticulum it is synthesis of lipids and steroids so what is the difference between rough and smooth endoplasmic reticulum it is the presence of ribosome in smooth endo rough endoplasmic reticulum third one nucleus nucleus helps in synthesis of RNA and it preserves DNA in genetic material that is gene. Then fourth one, Golgi apparatus. The prepared proteins are labeled, packed and delivered by Golgi apparatus. Then fifth one, that is mitochondria. Mitochondria have a special name that is it is called as powerhouse of the cell because it produce ATP. Then sixth one that is ribosome. So from this we will know that the function of ribosome is synthesis of proteins. Then seventh one, lysosomes. So lysosome helps in degradation of one out organelles, that is dead organelles. Then eighth one, centrosome. It helps in the movement of chromosome. During cell division. Then peroxisome. Peroxisome helps in degradation of excess fatty acid which are, which are produced by the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Degradation of fatty acids. Then last and final one that is cytoskeleton. From the name skeleton, we know that it determines the shape of the cell. That's all about the functions of the cell organelles. Now we'll go to the second topic. The difference between apoptosis and necrosis. So, by the name apoptosis, what we can understand? So, apoptosis is defined as the programmed cell death, which means it is already programmed in our body by our own immune system. 
necrosis it is not programmed so it is premature cell death so as it is programmed by the own immune system it is an physiological process necrosis it is an pathological process apoptosis takes place in a single cell only one cell is affected not affected it is involved in necrosis multiple cells are affected then fourth one in apoptosis inflammation is not seen in necrosis inflammation is seen then apoptosis it is an active process that is usually taking place in our body it is an active process then necrosis it is not an active process it is an passive process then due to inflammation in this inflammation is not seen so heat is not produced in this heat is produced that's all about the differentiate between apoptosis and necrosis we have finished our second topic now we'll go to the third topic third one is cell adaptation what do you mean by the word adaptation adaptation is defined as the changing of a substance according to its surroundings so first one a cell adaptation in first one we will see, see uh, there are five types atrophy hypertrophy third one hyperplasia fourth one dysplasia fifth one metaplasia so what is atrophy atrophy means decrease in size this word is important decrease in size of the cell in hypertrophy what it means opposite to atrophy so it means increase in size of the cell so what is hyperplasia increase in number number of the cell dysplasia is defined as the change in both shape size and and it functions also organization of the cell then what is metaplasia it is change of one type of cell one type of cell into another totally a different one it is called as metaplasia in atrophy we have two types that is physiological and pathological so decrease in size of the cell when it happens in a physiological way in a physiological way it happens when for example the size of this thymus in childhood will be increase in will be greater in size when compared to adulthood in adulthood the size of the thymus will be decreased it is called as physiological atrophy of thymus so what is pathological atrophy pathological atrophy means atrophy of cardiac muscles it have many pathological problems so it is called as pathological atrophy so in hypertrophy there are three types physiological pathological and compensatory in physiological hypertrophy what is the example example is increase in size of the muscles in case of body builders then in case of pathological it 
uh, in pathological, what is the example? In uh, we can see the hypertrophy of the cardiac muscle in case of ventricular hypertrophy. Then in case of compensatory, it occurs due to the over workload of an organ. Uh, for example, in case of kidney failures, uh, due to the failure of one kidney, all works will go to the another kidney. So it causes the hypertrophy of the another kidney. It is called as the compensatory hypertrophy. Then next one is hyperplasia. It means the increase of the number of the cell. In this we have three types that is physiological pathological and compensatory in case of physiological hyperplasia it means the uh, number of cells in the uterus will be increased in case of proliferative phase of the menstrual cycle then in case of pathological hyperplasia uh, we can the most important example is gigantism then in case of compensatory hyperplasia uh, the more we have used more in case of liver patients when part of the liver is uh, removed in case of liver cirrhosis, uh, compensatory hyperplasia is used in liver regeneration. Next one is metaplasia. Metaplasia means change in one type of cell into the another. In this, we have two types, physiological and pathological. In case of physiological metaplasia, the cartilages bones in childhood is converted into bone in adulthood. It is an example of physiological metaplasia and in case of pathological metaplasia in case of chronic smokers due to the harmful stimuli um, the ciliated columnar epithelium is converted into non-ciliated squamous epithelium it is an example of pathological metaplasia and our fourth topic is transport through cell membrane so cell membrane is also called as the plasma membrane. First let us discuss about the structure of cell membrane. In cell membrane it consists of a phosphophilic head and hydrophobic it consists of a single head and it consists of two tails and it is hydrophilic and this one is hydrophobic and between this we have special type of proteins called carrier proteins we will discuss it about later then from this we will discuss about the transport through cell membrane for transportation it occurs through two main possible ways active and passive so how can you define easily in easy term how can it define active and passive words active means it is swimming opposite to the river channel it is called as the active so what is passive it is swimming along the river channel it is called as the passive so first one is the movement of molecules against the electrochemical gradient it is called as the active transport and passive it is the movement of molecules along it is against and this one is along the electrochemical or chemical gradient then second one so if you want to swim against the river obviously we need energy so that's why in active process ATP is needed for active transport energy is needed in case of passive transport ATP is not needed so it is an 
uphill movement and passive process it is an downhill movement so in passive how passive transport occurs it occurs by the way of diffusion how can you define diffusion it is the movement of molecule from area of higher concentration to the area of lower concentration it is called as diffusion in diffusion we have three types it is simple diffusion through lipid layer simple diffusion through protein layer and facilitated or carrier mediated diffusion in simple diffusion using lipid layer it allows only the fat soluble molecules in case of protein layer it allows only the water soluble molecules in case of facilitated or carrier diffusion it uses the carrier protein to take the molecules from one part to the other side it is called as the carrier mediated diffusion then there are three types of special types of pa pa passive diffusions they are bulk flow then second one filtration then third one is osmosis so what is bulk flow bulk flow is nothing but when a dam is open the whole water comes from the area of high pressure to the area of low pressure that is called as the bulk flow so what is filtration filtration it is defined as the movement of molecules from area of high hydrostatic pressure to the area of low hydrostatic pressure for example filtration of coffee then osmosis it is defined as the movement of water or solvent from the area of higher concentration to the area of lower concentration through a semi permeable membrane it is called as the osmosis in osmosis there are two types endos endosmosis and exosmosis then we will go up to active transport in active transport there are two types that is primary and secondary primary is nothing but transport of molecules just using atp in secondary it is nothing but transport of molecules with the help of atp and in the presence of sodium ion it is called as secondary active transport then in as secondary active transport there are special types they are endocytosis and exocytosis in endocytosis we have two types that is picocytosis and phagocytosis picocytosis it is also known as cell drinking phagocytosis is also known as cell swelling it is the protective mechanism carried out by the body in phagocytosis uh, the foreign materials which invade inside our body are degraded by or degraded or intaken by the cells it is called as phagocytosis then in in case of pinocytosis it is also the same the foreign molecules are taken inside the cell it is called as pinocytosis then in case of exocytosis it is the method by which the organs gets out of the cell it is called as the exocytosis that all about the transport through the cell membrane thank you